Hey everybody, my name is Dave Sullivan and I built a mining rig. Built this aluminum frame off of uh, plans I saw from a video. Guy did a wonderful job. Kudos to uh, the show's called Bits B Trippin, B I T S, B Trippin. And uh, great job on the frame. In my case, it was a little too short because of the motherboard I used. This is a 9 inch tall frame, 21 and a half inches long, 16 inches deep, made to accommodate two power supplies. There's a platinum rated 1000 watt, another platinum rated 1000 watt in the back. My issue was my motherboard would not recognize five cards on riser cables. This is the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 here. Great motherboard, but once you put all riser cables, and I am using powered cables before anybody says anything, once you put all riser cables, PCI number four will not recognize. So we had to get that one back down on the board. And because our case was, I would say, three inches too short, I ended up having to cut a notch out of that wood and it worked fine. That was it. That's good. That's the only modification. So I'm about to power this up. And it's all good, running and tested. And I've got it plugged in to one little power bar just for testing purposes here because in order to get the two PSCUs to work we just wire those two pins together if you can see that see if can get that the, there we go wire the uh, green to a black and that's it I tried using the PS add two PSU the problem with the add two PSU is that it back feeds 12 volt power from the rail into the PSU and the fans on your video cards are enough power to keep the whole thing alive because of their own momentum which keeps the entire thing fired up. So, I'd use an add PSU as well, or add two PSUs, but uh, in the end you need to launch this thing from this switch. It's an absolute must. So, over here I have my kilowatt and we're now going to record. I can get a light on there. There we go. From start to finish, power on. There it is. What do we got here? So this is amps we're looking at right now. From the very beginning, amps. Because we don't want this to go over 15 amps because this is our you know basic house wall plug on a five five GPU. And I think this settles in at 14 and a half, somewhere near there. But you can run this on a normal house plug, small stampers, no matter what you have, and never have to worry about anything. Just make sure you have a decent power bar. We'll take it all. It's a slow startup, but that's the way it works. <clears throat> so, kudos to some of the guys for something to talk about anyways while this is running. This system is running off of um, Crypto Badger's build, which um, with a couple modifications, nothing too fancy, you know, different cards, different power supplies, and the frame from Bitsby Trippin. And my operating system of choice right now is the SMOS BAMT. Now, BAMT started as the big ass mining thing which was a great operating system dedicated to just mining and then with lots of modifications eventually came around to another crew who picked it up and they call it SMOS for uh, script mining operating system based on BAMT and they are doing a fantastic job um, so if you get a chance right now they're up to a 1.3 they have a 1.2 and a 1.3 if you're using older cards use the 1.2 it works awesome 1.2 works great for any older cards I had a 5790s, 7950s, all running on that all together uh, with an R9 290 as well. Worked perfectly. Um, once you go to just using a rig with all R9 290s, I found the 1.3 works great. Well, we have power, we have liftoff, and the amperage starts climbing. There we go. Where does it take us? Alright. She's doing some work. I 
This is awesome. So apparently it's picking up from the pool right now. It'll be connecting and getting different, trying to get work in each GPU. And as each GPU loads up, we'll see this pick up and show where it's planning to go. Oh, that looks great. Now, I ran this early and I was getting 14 and a half, but I think that's because it was running at a low, slightly lower voltage on the wall plug. I moved my wall plug directly to my uh, to my power box, where your breakers are, your breaker box. And right there, I was getting 121 watt or 121 volts at the wall. So you can see here, I'll switch this to volts. And we got there. Nope, that's our watts. We're drawing 1600, 1605, 1614. Yeah, so let's say 1620 ish watts. And that's our volt amps. Yeah, 1520 amps, exactly. And our volts. So, yeah, once we're set in, it's drawing us down to 119. There we go. So 119, 120 volts, 13, 13.7 amps, and 1620 watts. 34, 1634. Right. So let's say 1640 watts. That makes me happy. All right. And we'll check our kilowatt hours. Yeah, nothing. Beautiful. So there you have it, folks. A five card build. And Running. You wouldn't believe the heat coming off of this sucker. This, this heats my whole basement. I wish I could show you a little temperature gauge, but these are warm. This whole frame, too. Careful when you build these, this frame gets hot. Not hot enough to burn anything, but it's still there. Always check the air, make sure all of your pairs are blowing well. Things are all working, no airs. And then we come over here and refresh. And here we have our page. I don't know if you can see this or not, but. This is our web interface showing us what we're getting. 4110 kilo hashes. 0.58. It usually settles in around 2, 2.5% reject ratio, which is great. I think I keep anything under 3, I'm happy. Uh, 5 running, 5 okay. Look at our temperatures. 80, now I've got these fans set at 80 percent is the only way I could get them to uh, to maintain, but they're working good. I'm happy with those. Once you get the SMOS, you'll have to for the R9s, you'll have to go into the BAMP config file and turn up your uh, your high temperature warning monitor high temp. It's called turn that up to 90 because these cards can run up to 94, 95 without any problems. And these are the default settings, by the way. If you leave everything at zero in your config file, it will automatically go to 947. This is where it wants to run. The driver handles it great. Just leave it there. If you want to set it manually, set it to 947, 1250. And that is, uh, I had to make sure I had 8 gigs of RAM. I know everybody says it's Linux run 4, but if you run 4, you'll run into problems. Throw down 8 and everything comes to life. This is Dave Sullivan. This is the Madman's Workshop. I hope you enjoyed it.